You really are gay. What they're saying about me isn't true. During Pride Month? Today, we are going to be watching a iconic movie from good old classic ABC Family. Or was it Lifetime? I think it was ABC Family. Today, we're going to be watching Cyberbully. Before we get into the video, if you hear a fan, just let it be. I'm in Texas. It's very hot outside. It's like 100 degrees outside. Everyone's energy is being used up right now, and it is a living hell. But just ignore the fan. I know. It's troublesome for your ears, but I don't want to be sweating balls right now. We're interrupting for a message from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Inkbox. As you guys have known, I have already committed to the permanent lifestyle of tattoos. I got these done about a year ago, but I also have some Inkbox tattoos on me right now, as you can see right here, and then there's one on my finger, which I love. The magic behind Inkbox is that they are semi-permanent tattoos that actually develop over about 24 hours to become this darker shade. They actually start off like this. So you can see, I actually just put these on about two hours ago and you can see that you can barely see them right now. But I put these on yesterday, um, about like six o'clock yesterday and it's 3 p.m. The next day and you can see they're so much darker but i just i just did these um and you can see they're super light but they actually develop over time those temporary tattoos only last a few days but ink box lasts about one to two weeks and they actually just gradually fade um as you exfoliate your skin and as you you know wash your hands and you know wash your body it'll it'll slowly fade the steps are as easy as prepping your skin with a primer wipe you just wipe the area with the primer wipe to apply the tattoo all you do is peel off the backing place the sticky side on the skin and peel off the border after that you just leave it on for 60 minutes and avoid excessive movement and sweating then you just remove everything your tattoo will look light blue or green at first but it will darken in 24 to 36 hours to a dark blue or black ink box has a catalog of over 10,000 tattoos to choose from in order to find the perfect design that speaks to you they also have the option to further customize a design if you're looking for something a touch more personal so right now I am lounging in my home, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm just standing. So I've actually gotten a few comments um, over the day I've had it, like I've worked out, I've hung out with friends, and everyone's like, oh my God, it looks like a permanent tattoo. And I'm like, yeah. And someone was like, oh my God, did you get a, like, did you have that butterfly this whole entire time? And I just did not notice. But no, I literally just put it on and people have been mistaking it for a permanent tattoo because it looks, so freaking cool and i just want to say that everyone always compliments my permanent butterfly tattoos inkbox has tons and tons of butterfly tattoos and i would love to see you guys recreate my sleeve so we can have a matching butterfly tattoo arms because i would love to see that so i'm not saying you have to but i'm saying if you do get some and you do create recreate my little butterfly arm please send me a picture because I would literally die if anyone did that. Thank you Inkbox for sponsoring today's video and make sure you guys go check out Inkbox. There'll be links to everything in the description boxes down below. Make sure you click that link so you can start matching with me because I would love to twin with you guys and I would love to see what you guys do with your Inkbox tattoos. Before we get into this video, I just want to point out that if you don't know what Cyberbully is, Cyberbully is a movie that discusses a bunch of stuff like, um, sexual situations, cyberbullying, uh, suicide, and stuff around that topic, depression, anxiety. Uh, so if that is something that is sensitive for you or something that really, so if that is something that you do not want to watch and do not want to see any sort of commentary made on that or any sort of content that includes that, I would definitely skip out on this video and watch another video. Mm. Who are you calling a brat? Private. Well, what you do online isn't exactly private. <laughs> I love foreshadowing. It's the best thing ever. It's literally the best thing ever, foreshadowing. If you guys didn't know, this is a private channel. Um, to people in public, I don't have a YouTube channel. I'm not a YouTuber. The coloring of this movie, is there's so much contrast. The lack of saturation is kind of weird, and it very much gives off an anti-bully PSA commercial. Like a hotline commercial. No inappropriate sites, 
and no giving out personal information. I know the rules, but still you're trusting me? Are you- I broke them. I broke the rules already, guys. I broke the rules already. She's gonna take away my computer, MILF. Are you gonna take away my computer, MILF? <laughs> no, yeah, I already broke those rules. I'm so sorry. But I'm also not a child anymore. I'm a grown adult. Also, I've been working out. Do I have muscles? Actually, I do. Okay. <laughs> Get cute guys talking to you. You'd be surprised how many guys ask me about my black underwear. Oh, what? What color underwear do people hear and go, ew? <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to think. I'm like, what color would they be just like, ew, gross, you wear red underwear. <laughs> like, I just like, don't feel like that would happen. Every single time they walk into a house, it looks like they're going to find their whole family dead. And why do they have so many apples? That was a lot of apples. For a family of... Four? I'm assuming four. Four? Why do they have that many apples? They got it from like Costco, but not even Costco has that many apples in a pack. It's like maybe 12? That was like 20. I'm just not seeing the need for that many apples. Are you making apple pie or or is that just the daily apple bin? Well, fine, then I'm Lardo. Could always lose a little bit of weight. You, however, will always look like a dog. <laughs> So what is the issue about being bullied? Because they've obviously already experienced bullying in person and online now. This is the end of the movie. They seem to be fine with being cyber bullied and bullied in real life as well. So I saw you on Clicksters now. I like it better than Facebook, a lot more raw, you know? I don't know if fa it's more raw than Facebook. It seems a little bit more invasive. What color underwear are you wearing? Like, Facebook is like... I don't know. I've never used it. It's just... Erica Albright's a bitch. Do you think that's because her family changed their name from Albrecht? Or do you think it's because all BU girls are bitches? Who's horny right now? Oh my god! Get out. What? You can't be serious. Oh, so this is the bully. Samantha is the bully. Girl, she has a crush. Are you jealous of her? For having a crush? I'm a naughty bad girl. Someone should spank me. <laughs> well, someone has a sick sense of humor. You gotta change this. You gotta change your password. That made me giggle. I would giggle. I'd be like, girl... I text my friend, I'd be like, what are you doing? Who knew your past? I don't know, I don't know. I made Samantha and Shay and look away when I set it up. If I had a breakdown every single time someone called me a whore or a slut or anything derogatory, I would, I would be in tears all the time. And then add along to that, like racial slurs. Like I, we've, we've got it all here. We've got a whole mix of insults for me and I'm not a fan of it. Go ahead call me a slut what are you gonna do about it you're gonna come after these guns dude you're gonna try to bully me well say that to me in person because now i'm freaking ripped as fuck so you can't bully me anymore see to my face this movie literally just put a time capsule it's a time capsule of a certain period of time and we'll never get it back devastating honestly devastating but you know Preserved nonetheless. Me and my friend Cooper are the ones who change the status on your profile. What? Look, he the old <gasps> he is awful. Why would he say that about his sister, first of all? Why didn't he say, like, oh my god, I like to eat poop or something? Like, why did he have to say something so sexual about his sister like that? I'm a dirty little girl, spank me? Who would say that? That means Scott has seen it. Please, can I use your phone? No, Taylor, I'm not gonna give you my phone. Samantha, you are the worst person I've ever met. Why is Samantha the worst friend in the world? Like, help a girl out, help someone out. You're just so, like, why can't she have your phone? Why can't she, why can't she clear her name? I saw what people were saying about you online. I don't know why they have to do that. I know it's- I know you don't understand it because you are an undercover cop. You are so old, you shouldn't be in high school. I guess you've never been on my page. There's fairy, fruit, homo, two gay to live. Yeah, but I mean, it's not really the same thing. I mean, you really are gay. What they're saying about me isn't true. She is homophobic. During Pride Month? Happy Pride Month, I guess, everyone. She's a homophobic piece of shit, so she should be bullied. She said, if they're gonna call you fruity and a homo, then I guess it's fine because you're actually gay. I'm not a slut. And why doesn't she know she's a loser? 
And then James wrote, hate or suck, the girl is more cool than you. He defended me. I, okay, okay, if this happened in, like, when I was younger, uh, well, I wouldn't say 17, I would say maybe, like, 14, and someone posted that, and then they went, and they were like, my account got hacked. I'd be like, you're a liar. You're lying. It did not get hacked. Do you want to be spared? <laughs> You're lying. I know you're lying. I was just going to get ketchup. Oh, me too. Love okay, ketchup too. twins. <laughs> the three of us were going to go together. Mom, why can't you just be happy for her? Yeah, I'd be happy for you if someone you liked us, yeah. A minute ago you like Oh my god. Samantha, you're the you're the bully. You are the bully. You're the bully, Samantha. Get out of here. I bet you guys bullied the gay kid too. Fucking rude ass bitches. These are the mean girls. These are the main girls of the school. God, why would he say that he's- Um, I have to point out that the wallpaper has a fake- <laughs> A fake lamp stuck on it. <laughs> it's just like a shadow of a lamp. But it's not a real lamp. There's like 300 people in that entire school. She'd so recognize him if he went there. What, so it's fake? Well, he's full of crap, so yeah- I bet it's Samantha. Do you think Samantha put up the fake profile? That's so funny. I literally know it was Samantha. She's so sadiki and the way she's looking, she looks so suspicious. Should have wrapped the disinfectant. Don't want to use these sinks after the skank patrol. <laughs> Wouldn't the skank patrol be like the people that stop skanks? Like they'd be like police skanks. Yeah, I know it sucks. No, I've never been called a name at school ever. Oh, you privilege. <laughs> Don't, Don't, you break your Don't you dare make a joke about this. Don't you dare. Just stop following me, okay? Let's not act like she is not. <laughs> I've never been called a skink before. They called you the skink patrol. That wasn't even a good insult. It doesn't even make any sense. All of these girls are just not fun. They're not fun to me. I don't like hanging out with them. I don't like being in this environment. I hate to face it too. I hate to tell you guys, and I know it's hard to face, but you guys are young, pretty women growing up in America. This society is only going to propel you. After high school, you just get propelled into more and more names being called, cat called, and being subjected to this type of behavior. So by other women and men, mostly men, but by other women as well. So where do we go from here? Where, 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 what, what's the ending goal? You're gonna get away from her. And then, oh, Johnny's, Johnny's calling you stuff now too. Johnny in college is calling you a whore for not sleeping with him. Show me your clickster's page now. Uh, saying that in a serious sentence is funny. Taylor slut gross is what I say to everyone that I hate. I knew it. Dude, I knew it. Honestly, this story is so juicy. Just the fact that it's like a backstabbing friend is makes it really juicy. Aside from just like the typical mean girl. Taylor, this is really hard. Cause you know, Scott reads that stuff. I mean, what if he believes it? What if he thinks I'm pregnant? Wait, that's- Oh my God, is Lindsay in love with her? Because she's like very much obsessed. She's very much obsessed. None of this should have happened. If, okay, Samantha, if you tell her that Scott is gay, she will hate him. Cause she's obviously homophobic. If you tell her that, maybe she'll, maybe she'll join the- Scott hate campaign because she obviously seems to hate gay people during Pride Month. Um, quirky camera work. That was literally the shot from Assassinations Nation, but like really bad. I'm Taylor Hillridge. Wanna have a good time? Five bucks, all it takes. It's it's more embarrassing for them than it is for her, and also. It's kind of scary because she's wearing a mask. Sia, breathe me. This is where this song got its hit. I am not gonna lie and ha act like I have not cried to this song. So I had a moment like this to this song, like in my bathroom, like on my bathroom floor, like crying my eyes out. So I can't make fun of this scene because it was literally me. Like I definitely had a moment like this. Wasn't it- was it based off the actual event that happened? It was like loosely based off the actual event that happened with that girl. I can't remember her name. I think her name was Amanda, but she has the cards. Wasn't it based off of that? I think it was. Cause that's the- that was like a pivotal viral moment and like really sad story. 
I really don't see the reason for trying. Yo, this bitch Samantha needs to get arrested. <laughs> because it's like kind of her fault. She's not running fast enough for some for what she thinks is happening. I can't get the cap off! Why can't you get the cap off? It's a twist! It's a push and twist, babe! Why are you pulling it? She just spilled them. You can still take them. I just don't know why she was pulling. Like, she's 17 years old and she was pulling the pill bottle. I don't like it that that's the pivotal moment where they're like, the reason why she couldn't kill herself was that she couldn't open the pill bottle. Because obviously Samantha was not quick enough. Obviously she was not quick enough. So if Taylor just had the ability to twist the cap off, she would have actually killed herself. I mean, part of their reason is also her addiction to it. I think maybe that's a good commentary that she's addicted to seeing it. Come sit up. Oh, the gay kid's there. I told you I was cyberbullied as well. And you bullied me. You just it, IRL bullied me. Never called someone a name online or said they were stupid or ugly. Um, I made fun of this guy for being gay. So does that count? I guess you could say we all have laws. And we've all messed up here once or twice. It's probably true. So why don't you tell me, huh? What's it like to be so perfect that you don't have to feel bad about anything? <laughs> Pause. Why did he say that? He's like, what's it like being so perfect? You never make mistakes. He literally just made fun of Taylor for having like a breakdown. He called it a mono breakdown. So you're gonna blame me because she has some sort of mono meltdown? A mono mental breakdown. <laughs> like, I don't know what we're like trying. Oh my God, you're so perfect. You never make mistakes. Bitch, right before then, you just said. You just made fun of her for her incident. And honestly, you know what? She deserves it too. Little bitch, don't like Samantha at all. Literally the worst person ever. But also he, he's like, maybe I'm an ass. But tell me what it's like being so perfect. Tell me what it's like, sister. Imagine if it turned into a horror movie right now. Like, honestly, the end of Cyberbully could be the beginning of a horror movie. Girl gets bullied online, turns out it was her best friend catfishing her the entire time, and it starts off with her killing her. And then the whole movie is them trying to figure out who killed her. That's a murder mystery, not a horror movie. I'm the one who created the James profile. I pretended to be him, I talked to you. Told everybody you gave him an STD. That's very violent to do. It's it's really bad. No coming back. Not at all. I really wish I hadn't, but I did. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Taylor. You just can't apologize enough for something like that. Like I you can't come back from something like that. It's like a joke if they fall in love with you. Like, it's already kind of bad if they fall in love with you and you catfish them. It's a whole nother thing if you just spread false information about them. And led to this. Led to all this stuff happening. That's cruel. She did not deal with anything throughout this entire movie. She was just a villain the entire time. Is she gonna confess? <gasps> That's drama. Ah, uh, you got a taste of your own medicine, bitch. Oh, seems like a good- What else? block them you know block the sender you know she's like you could do that <laughs> taylor's like i never knew you were able to do that God, i never thought of that oh wow you're stupid you, you shouldn't be allowed on the internet if you don't know how to block people i didn't know you'd be coming back today i have to say if i came into school when taylor made her comeback and i saw her talking and hanging out with the girl that catfished her and spread lies about her i would think it was all a publicity stunt i would really be doubtful of it because if i if i came to school and they're besties again dude i i wouldn't be able to believe it i'd be like you guys were faking it i would turn into the bully i wouldn't be a bully but in my head i'd be like this is a publicity sign thanks to the help of people like tina mir and megan mir foundation 34 states now have an anti-cybering bull cyber bullying law 
it was Megan. Her name was Megan. So this was, was based off of a true story. I love this movie. I thought it was great. I would watch it again. Um, that is it for today, guys. I hope you like, like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, this is a really good movie. I think you should watch it and recommend it to your friends as well. The movie, Cyberbully. I think Emily Osma carried. Make sure you guys subscribe so you can see more videos from me and click the notifications bell as well so you guys can be notified every single time I post a video and be the first ones to watch. Once again, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!